movement. And that was the death of Pestilence right there, you know. Because Be Pestilence is like, you know, the album that we did now, you know, uh, Resurrection Macabre. That really represents um, a, 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 a time that could have been after uh, the testimony of the ancients. You know, if we would have brought out that album, um, no one can tell me what would have happened. Maybe we would have been the biggest thing. Maybe not. You, you never know, you know. It's just like, you know, Again, uh, a picture in point of time, hanging out with, with people, get influenced by people, you know, there you go. Um, well, how, 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 how do you view the Spheres album today? Because it's my second favorite of the testimony. I yeah, was one of yeah, the few who right, really liked it. Right, right. Yeah, it's a nice album. Yeah, um, it, it stood, I guess, the test of time, you know. It's like, uh, it, it, was, it was going like this, and the rest was going there, and then now it's here, and, and, and all, it's at the same point again, you know. Where there's people that like we found the love to listen to that album because it had some very interesting and uh, innovative songs, you know, it more groove, you know, yeah. and and you know just like using uh, the technology that we're very heavily into at that at that point. So that was pretty okay. Yeah. So it's not something that we kind of uh, you know wow you know that sucks or something. I mean tonight we're gonna play some stuff from from Spheres as well. Yeah. So so. So that uh, I think that's all that's all cool. But back then they bashed us for that album, and now it's a cold album. Now you tell me what you know. It's difficult. It's difficult to to please everybody uh, in, in that in that thing. So after that we just like disbanded and mm. we're plus we didn't want to work with Roadrunner anymore. So that was a nice closure. Yeah. Yeah, because you split up in 1994, right. and this was said to be because you have reached your creative climax. But this was then also because of the um, the, the fans and roadrunners um, not liking Spears. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you got kind of tired of. Uh, there are so the many bands uh, that Roadrunner signed uh, when we uh, when we did when we you know when we did Testimony. You know, Roadrunner got really really big, and they signed so many bands that. Um, I could foresee already that they couldn't give us the support that we want because they have to go and give support to a lot of people. So, you know, we knew the and and we and we felt that that, that they didn't give us any support. So, you know, and and we needed to make an album to get that out of our system. And we knew that we we're gonna get you know um, you know thrown off off the record label. So, for us that was that was fine because we didn't want to do anything after that anyways. But um, like musical climax or you know I think we could have taken it really mo much further if we had a uh, maybe uh, uh, you know e had more time to create something you know outside of pestilence you know back in the old days she had some clean air you know to breathe and now it's all fucked up like this smoke right here you know, everybody dying in the process of suffocation! <laughs> Because uh, several of you were involved in different projects with jazz and fusion, and what did this do to you as musicians? Uh, did you evolve in another way? You think uh, than you would have done with, if you continued with Pestilence, or uh, because now you, you uh, had a reunion in uh, 2008, but you said you wouldn't call it this a reunion, except it's the same band. It's Pestilence. Well, it's not a reunion. A reunion is when when a band comes back together in the original lineup, and and you know they try to relive old, uh, live old days, uh, play the old um, stuff, and then you know um, that's it. You know, try to take it from there. But uh, you know, not all of the original members are there. I think this is the best Pestilence lineup. You have three fourths of the Testimony lineup, which 
which is something that you know I'm very happy about. And we have a new guy, you know, that that was a Pestilence fan from the beginning. So uh, it's it's way different, you know. You know, there's there's two camps. You have got the camp that is like into consuming impulse, and you got the people that is into the testimony of the ancients camp. You know, so um, can't please everybody, you know. But I hope that with resurrection, we we've made a um, a huge step forward in pleasing, you know, not only us because after 15 years we have, uh, you know, we, we taste the blood again. We want to like make that brutal music again, something that we couldn't have done 15 years ago. That's why we made Spheres. So it's now it's back to to, to the roots of pestilence and then take it from there. Yeah, Resurrection uh, Macabre is your first album in 16 or 17 years. 16. Uh, how uh, how is this? How is it to be back on track again with Pestilence and this album when it's 16 years ago your last album came out? Well, you know, going to going to this show now and you know uh, sometimes visiting like uh, death metal shows, nothing really has changed. It it doesn't it doesn't feel like I've been away that long. It's like I I close my eyes, I wake up, and I'm 15 years later. So nothing really has changed in the metal scene that much except for some of the style has been uh, a little bit more extreme and I think you know we, we've, we fit right in there because we, we still are um, you know um, very much into into our own stuff we never really listen to many death metal bands only bands like Mashuka that can really please us you know because you know they, they try to do something else which is good you know and I think uh, you know um, you know we do uh, the old songs justice you know the way we play them and um, I think we we have better skills now, so uh, hopefully we can make you know some people happy listening to us or watch us live. But yeah, it's been 15 years, and uh, I must say we still look pretty good. Yeah, those yeah. Old fucking guys. yeah, yeah, do you do? Would do you do. <laughs> uh, say the scene hasn't changed much, and the fans have welcomed you? Uh, but are you still frustrated with the scene? Um, because uh, I read that you were kind of frustrated with the death metal scene or the metal scene at all when you quit 15 years ago yeah I mean because you know because we try to do something we try to do something else and um, um, at that time and uh, we felt that misunderstood you know because uh, we really wanted to do something else than all the other death metal bands that were coming out I mean there were so many bands coming out that were you know I guess uh, contracted by by Roadrunner and and then Century Media comes and then you got that stuff in England going you know so I mean it's just too many bands and then we wanted to be original and uh, they didn't give us the chance um, but you know do you think you get the chance today uh, is it easier for bands to be experimental or uh, reach through with uh, uh, changes today? Oh, definitely because there's there's like you know you have the internet now and you know you don't have to buy an album you just like rip it and then listen to it and if it's okay then you might buy it or go to the show you know I, I love the, the, the diversity of, of all these bands um, doing their thing you know I don't know you know it's, it's still where I don't feel like um, um, you know we're like totally in the scene because I don't know what that scene is <laughs> if you're a death metal fan what do you do as a death metal fan you don't go out at the weekend and like maybe uh, rob a grave or get all crazy. We're all just normal people, you know. So I think that you know people are like um, you know critics. You know, everybody's a critic. You know, because yeah, you know, everybody has an opinion about about something. You know, the only thing now is like everybody ventilates that stuff on the internet and forums and all that stuff, which is uncontrolled. You know, everybody's like anonymous. So. Uh,